Ashley and Alyssa Bowen. On behalf of the Boom Girl Middle School staff and students, you'll be learning about Reality Store 2012 for the 8th grade students. Uh, the Reality Store is a uh, Porter County organization from the, uh, it's the business group in Valparaiso that organizes it and they allow 8th graders from around the county to come in and experience what life would be like as an adult for a month and they do it in one day. The Reality Store has been around for quite a while, but Boone Grove did not start attending until I believe 1998. Um, it is um, a dose of reality. Um, a lot of eighth graders across the, the, the Northwest Indiana community um, go to the Porter County Fairgrounds and at the Expo Center, um, a group of volunteer uh, businessmen and women throughout the community um, put on basically a, a series of real world events. That's what it is. As their job yeah. is selected for them based upon their, how they're doing in school right now, I do see some kids come back and they're, they're a little more dedicated to, to what they're doing. So some of that might be the time of year they must get there because they get the school. But I, I think some of it is tied to what they see in reality store and they see, wow, I really need to start. I need to be, do well in high school so I can do well in college so that I can pay for things when I grow up. Uh, well, I was a doctor, and I was married with one kid. Lucky me, huh? Um, I made seventy, like seventy-five hundred dollars a month, which was pretty decent. Um, after taxes, I made like right, like a little over five thousand. And um, when I went to the reality store, it was nothing really like I thought it would be. I thought it would be like, like kind of like organized and in like some like huge white room where like people were like, oh, stay in your line, stay in your line. But it was actually just like a pretty like laid back experience and. The people there were really nice and really helpful, and um, the books that we had helped a lot that we had to write everything down in. And uh, um, I got a house. We had we had to get our house and our car, and we paid for our insurance and everything. I got a two-story ranch. I think it's called. I don't know. Um, it was, sounded like a pretty decent house when she described it to me. So, and then I got some. We got a Escalade to drive. Pretty nice. Um, paid for insurance and then the one thing I found really funny was at the end you got to get your unexpected uh, unexpected event you had to pick two of them and one of mine was that my daughter signed up for softball but all along I thought I had a son <laughs> uh, and then my other unexpected event was that I got in a bar fight Ooh, I lovely. Did. I know right I did I got in a bar fight and I went and I had to pay my lawyer fees and Whatnot, and after that, I was I only had like six hundred dollars left. So it's kind of sad after seeing her, how money dwindles away so fast, and it kind of made me realize that you know, like our parents do a lot, maybe not on such like a huge budget, and it kind of made me respect them. Um, well, when I got there, I did all like the normal things, like the taxes and everything, and then as soon as I got to the houses, I ran out of money, and I had to get married as soon as possible, and I like on the paper I put five for Miss Schultz. And so, five kids. And so, I got five kids and I couldn't afford anything, so I had to go to bankruptcy. And I had to do the second job and go back to school. And then, after I tried to go through all the bankruptcy, and I after I went to the child care, I had to give my children, two of my kids to my grandma. And I got to unexpected events. And I got, I had to pick two, one out of the big box, one out of the little box. And the big box said that I had won two hundred dollars from the lottery, and I had the second one said that I had, that I was in an abusive relationship and I beat my husband, and he left me, he divorced me, and he separated me, um, and he took the rest of my kids, so I was <laughs> alone. And then I had to go to anger management classes, and they gave me a yellow ball, and then um, I had to go to a mental institution. And they didn't really say anything. I just had to keep going back and forth from anger management to the mental institution <laughs> till the end of the whole trip. And then I just left with nothing. I was completely broke and I had no kids and no husband. Um, for the reality store, I was placed in the shoes of a 28 year old. And I was a physician who made a good living, but some of my other classmates did it to where they went bankrupt really quick. It's fantastic. 
screens. Oh, it was really nice to see all the excitement of all the kids as they were getting ready. Um, it was a joy to see the students come up and I'd see them talk to other teachers. They come to me wanting to know how much I paid for childcare and insurance. And, and then it was nice to see the expressions on their face when I said what type of insurance. And so we started talking about all different types from car and health. Um, so it was exciting to see how the kids, their excitement was building up and starting to experience reality. My favorite part of the reality store is watching them get to the end of the month. They think they've got it all going and they're going to make it and then they hit the um, unexpected events, which we all hit the unexpected events when things break down that we need. And then ultimately uh, they have like a charge for like $1,500 and then their entire life gets thrown out of whack and it is kind of funny that way. So students will research a career in Mr. Blesley's class, they will find out information and then they will um, apply for that job. Students apply for the job with their first semester grades and if they make the grade for a certain position then they will get that position. If not, I try to give them a position related to that in, their, in that field. They then take their salary and we use estimation to decide uh, how much they want to spend in each of the different categories. Um, and so they go prepared with the budget to the reality store. Thank God it's Friday night and I just, 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 just got